from our New York studios up in Harlem, where it is snowing. Jackie Reed goes inside her story. Good morning, Jackie. Good morning, Tom, Sybil, Damon, Arsenio, Kim. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Is that everybody? Yeah. You know, it is. Hey. <laughs> hey, it's really coming down here in, in the NYC, so be careful if you're up on, on the East Coast. So listen, most of us, most of those looking forward to Valentine's Day are those who are excited about love, right? But what if you're in a relationship that is strained or even headed for divorce court? Well, my guest this morning says his goal is to save marriages because he says divorce is not an option. I'm going inside her story with relationship expert Stephen James Dixon. Good morning, Stephen. Divorce Steven. is not an option. He must morning. have murder in his heart. <laughs> yeah. Must have murder in his heart. Now, Stephen, let me ask you this out the gate because a lot of people may be listening to this and say, "Wait a minute." Sometimes, listen, it's just time to pull the plug. I mean, do you think all marriages can be saved? All marriages can be saved. Divorce is not an option. About teaching couples how to fight for their marriage. Marriage is not the problem. The institution of marriage, the way God created it, is perfect. The problem is that raggedy husband or that raggedy wife and that baggage that they carry into marriage. So I want couples to stop blaming marriage. I no longer believe in marriage counseling. What I believe in is husband coaching or wife coaching. We can fix that husband. We can fix that wife. We can save that marriage. Even so you say you can turn it around no matter even what. Even infidelity. You every day. Like, <laughs> infidelity, you every abuse, day, huh? all that, Stephen? Right. Anything can be fixed for people who want to work on their marriages. I've never encountered a marriage I couldn't fix. I encounter a husband who says, uh, well, I, I want to stay out all night, or I want to have women on the side, or I, fi I find a wife that won't stop spending money, that won't have a budget. So I always find the problem. I always offer a solution. It is that time what that husband or that wife wants to do to save their marriage. But what if they get married for the wrong reasons? Let's say somebody married for money. It, 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 it doesn't even matter. It's about what dedication and commitment you want to have to saving your marriage. Even okay. if you're married for the wrong reason, do you want to sit down? Do you want to negotiate? Do you want to compromise? Do you want to save your marriage? Don't sound okay. like love to me, sir. <laughs> What's the number one reason people get divorced, Stephen? It's about their observations and their experiences before marriage. It's about if you've seen your parents fight through the fight through a marriage. It's about if your friends are divorced and things like that is what you bring into the marriage. So that's why I'm always teach I'm basically always reteaching couples in marriage. I'm always reteaching couples that we can work through issues, we can work through problems. Where is the compromise? Now, what if the couple, and I'll go back to this because I'm trying to wrap my brain around it, what if you just don't love each other anymore? And what if it's mutual? Love is something that people fall into and out to. Love is an emotion. Mm -hmm. We have people every day who feel like they love someone today, and then they come in my office and say, I don't love them anymore. I'm, I'm out of love. I'm not in love and things of that nature. I hear that every single day. And then after working with me for two, three months, next thing you know, they're back in love. So love is an emotion. And so I, I just don't worry about stuff like that. I worry mm -hmm. about building. How can we rebuild? That's why I teach couples my, my principles about marriage. I start with commitment. <laughs> I teach them commitment from the beginning, from scratch. Commitment, communication, trust, respect, love, healing, and forgiveness. If I, if I work with couples long enough to teach them those seven things, I believe I can save any marriage. Dang. Are you Tom, married? Thank are, you. Are, are you are you married? Thank you. And have you <laughs> and have you uh, broken up before in a divorce? Yes, I have. I'm married ten years to my wonderful wife, Lamisha. I was married before when I was 23 years old. Got divorced at age 25. Why? Because mm -hmm. that's what I thought I should do. I thought when I was unhappy in my first marriage. It was time to leave. So I'm not mm -hmm. only talking about self-experience. I'm talking about what I've been doing with couples for the last eight years, where I'm constantly challenging them. And I, every day, Tom, I sit in, in, in the room with, in my office with different couples, and I'm fighting for their marriage harder than they are. A, a lot of times I get people that come in that are ready to give up, ready to quit, ready to just throw things away. And the first thing I infuse in them is confidence. A lot of times my first statement that I say to couples that come to me is that you're not getting married. Just confidence, just telling them we can work through it. It's mm -hmm. like it's like Super Bowl this weekend, right? In the fourth quarter, we're going to need Cam Newton to tell his team we're going to win no matter what. And that's what I do with couples every day is I tell them we're going to save our marriage. Mm -hmm. We're going to win, especially in our <laughs> black communities. We need it. What if he slept yes. with your mama? <laughs> now stop it. Now, Tom, uh, Tom let me all, tell you. like a new VH1 show. That, don't yeah. answer that, Stephen. Do not answer that. Now, Tom, the thing that attracted me to what Stephen is doing with all these couples is on his website, he goes in with a lot of couples and he shares their stories. Stephen, can you tell us about one of the couples? 
<laughs> First of all, keep going, my mom. Keep I'll going, give my mom Steven. high five. Steven, go focus. Mom. Don't, don't go <laughs> don't do there. With them. You're right. You're right. No, no focus. focus. What I do with the couples on divorce is not an option. What I do with the couples on divorce is not an option. Uh, and on my website, stephenjamesdixon.com, <laughs> is I, I detail the conversations mm-hmm. that I have with the couples. Of course, I change the names, dates, and locations. But I detail how I walk through fixing marriages with couples. So couples that, are, that, that, that question it, go on the website. Go read about it. I walk through the conversations. I walk mm-hmm. through what I'm teaching. I walk through the problems. I walk through the... Yeah, it's through, like a little soap opera. I just uh, go hard. Arsenio? Yeah, I, I got one question if we got time. Yes. Okay, yeah. uh, Kim and I are obviously from Cleveland. Mm-hmm. Our homegirl, Halle Berry. If Halle Berry walked into your office and said, <laughs> I can't make a marriage work, sir, what do I do to approach this next one? What would you advise her? I start when, I, when, I when I'm dealing with my single women. I start from the beginning and I figure out their history. I'm looking for a pattern. What have you done wrong in your life? What have you seen in your life? Who are your, your mentors and who are the people that you've witnessed to about marriage? Do you and have who, are you who, are who are you choosing? Who are you choosing? Yeah. Definitely selection is a difficult process that we all don't. Uh, a lot of times I'm teaching couples the selection process should be the, like the hiring process where you're actually looking for a partner. Some people choose by feelings and emotions, and we need to choose by character, morals, and ethics. the size of their feet. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. A <laughs> I- Ironically, Halle left Eric Benet because he wouldn't wear shoes. Right. Uh, so that is so The size of his right. feet could have been a problem. But uh, Arsenio <laughs> brings up a great point, Stephen, and that is a lot of times, and I know you've seen this, people are getting married for the wrong reasons, and a lot of times, I, I think counseling before, beforehand would would keep them from making a mistake. Wouldn't you agree? Absolutely. A lot of couples don't even know they need counseling. So what we're talking yeah. about is husbands who get married who don't know how to be a husband. What we're right. talking about is wives who get married who don't know how to be a wife. So a lot of times That's when they me. come to me, I'm explaining to them what is your role, what should you be doing, and how do you go about doing it every day. Well, you know your, your first wife sitting shopping. right somewhere mad as hell at this whole conversation, right? <laughs> Man, I, I had to get her agree to not sue me. She's a lawyer, so I had to agree. Hey, let me go and speak this. And so, yeah, she's mad. That's a whole nother TV show. Yeah. A whole nother TV show. Stephen, what's the website again? StephenJamesDixon.com. Go there. Read Divorce Not an Option. Take your love capacity quiz for Valentine's Day. Everybody, we need to save our marriages. We need to fight for our communities yes. and just love each other more. That's so nice. And that's Stephen that's with so a V, right? Yes, ma'am. StephenJamesDixon.com. <laughs> All right. Thank you. There Good you go, married couples. Save your marriages. Divorce is not an option. Good job, Jackie. Thank you, Jackie. Thank you guys. Stay with Jackie. Jackie.